overflows enlightenment living with awareness enlightenment is simple natural and spontaneous it is living life with awareness moment to moment i have heard a small story of leo tolstoy the archbishop of russia became very much annoyed because on a small island three men had come to be known uh, known to the population as saints now this is against christianity in christianity a saint has to be certified by the church as if to be a saint is a degree or a title the church has to ordain the sainthood on the appropriate person the english word saint comes from the word sanction when the church gives sanction one becomes a saint the archbishop was very angry that without his sanction these three people had become known as saints and thousands of people were going to touch their feet and seek their blessings naturally this was making him very angry as a result one day he finally decided to go and see what kind of saints these were he went in a motor boat he has to cross the river to reach the island it was a very small island only those three people lived there it was very early morning and those three were sitting under a tree they looked simple uneducated and illiterate people the archbishop on the way was very nervous about facing three saints who have influenced thousands of people but now he saw there was no problem as these looks as these looked idiots he went there and they all touched his feet archbishop was satisfied he said do you think you are saints they said we are uneducated illiterate poor people how can we think such high things they are not for us but what can we do people go on coming we try to prevent them we tell them that they should go to you but they would not listen the archbishop inquired authoritatively what is your prayer the three looked at each other and nudged one said you say it the other said you say it archbishop said anybody can say there is no harm but to start they said we feel very embarrassed because it is not really a prayer but we have made it up the archbishop was very angry you have invented the prayer asked the archbishop what is the prayer one of them said if you really insist we have to say it but we are feeling very embarrassed because the prayer is not very great it is simple our prayer is you are three we are three have mercy on us you are three we are three have mercy on us even the archbishop in his anger had to laugh he said great so this is your prayer those poor people said 
we are ready to learn. If you teach us the right prayer, we will try it. But it should not be long because we may forget it or we may make mistakes or get confused. Our prayer is so simple, we cannot forget it, we cannot make any mistakes. The Archbishop read the whole prayer of the Orthodox Church of Russia. It was too long. Those three poor people said, it is too long. Please read it again. The third time they said, just one more time so we can remember. The Archbishop was happy that these idiots are no threat in any way. Now there is no problem. I can convince people that they know nothing, not even the prayer of the church. They touched the Archbishop's feet, thanked him and told him that there was no need for him to come. He should have sent him a message and they would have come to him. Why should he take such trouble? Any time he wanted, he should just send us a message and we would come to the church itself. Very happy and contented, the Archbishop left. When he was just in the middle of the lake, he saw those three running on the water, coming towards him, saying, Stop! 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 We have forgotten the prayer. Just once more repeat. The Archbishop looked at them. They were standing on the water, running on the water, he must have been a man of some kind of intelligence. He said, forgive me, your prayer is right. You continue your prayer. Your prayer has reached. My prayer has not reached. You are really saints. It does not matter whether the church has sanctioned you or not. Sanctions are needed for those who are not really saints. The way existence approves of your prayer, the very existence has approved your prayer. Just forgive me that I have interfered in your life. This is a story by Leo Tolstoy. A story is significant, in a way it is not true and in a way it is true because it gives a deeper message. Each story or anecdote gives a deeper message. Life is very simple, spontaneous, as long as it it flows. There is no blockage. A continuously flowing life is a blessing and it does tremendous miracle to the person. It is possible. This is how it really happens. With purity of heart, with serenity of the mind and with calmness of the being, any word uttered becomes a prayer. Even this becomes a prayer. You are three. We are three. Have mercy on us and great accident happens. So too enlightenment is simple, natural and spontaneous. It is the way of life. It is living with awareness moment 
to moment. You cannot copy it. They that indeed is the problem. You can go on an island and sit under a tree and say, you are three, we are three, have mercy on us and nothing will be happening. Within an hour or two you will get bored and you will see that this does not work. It is not a question of methodology. Instead, transformation in life is a way of simplicity, spontaneous spontaneity, being natural and flowing. And once you know how to flow, how to be natural and how to be spontaneous, life becomes a blessing, a benediction. Enough for now.